Take me through the moment that you found out that he had murdered Chad Littlefield and Chris Kyle. Raymond and I had, we had met in Abilene for the weekend. I needed a mental health day for me. And I needed some time to talk to Raymond and, and try to make a better plan for what we could do to help our son. Raymond had been talking with the VA in Amarillo and we wanted to move Eddie up there so that he could go to a different hospital and hopefully get the help he needed. Then that day never came. Our daughter, Laura, calls and she is hysterical. And I knew the moment I heard her voice that something really had gone wrong. And she tells me Eddie's killed two people. And I knew she was, I knew she was telling me the truth. My heart just kept saying, no, no, Eddie could never do this. And that's when I took the phone away from her and called, told Laura to call the police. And I called my neighbor next door because he was the police officer. If you see Eddie, stop him. Did she tell you who? She had no idea. She didn't know. It don't but, matter who it but was. But I did. You knew? When she told me he was driving a black truck, I knew that truck. I'd seen it before. I'd opened the doors on it to let the kids out at school. I knew it was Chris's truck. I had Chris's number in my phone and I dialed it and no one answered. It was a heart-stopping moment. <laughs>